Well, good afternoon. I'm Elise Parton, Mayor of the City of Casey, and I am beyond delighted to be asked to welcome you here today to the press conference. Steel Hands operates with excellence in everything that they do, from the beer that they make to the family-friendly experience that they create to the high-caliber artists that they invite to this very stage. They are a destination brewery, and they have invested in Casey and the entire Midlands region every step of the way. Today's pro press conference is a great example of that. The level of musician and the mus musical experience that they bring to our region is unparalleled. Steel Hands is turning up the heat this summer on their live music stage, making the city of Casey the place to be for Steel Hands Brewing hosting national nights. And I'll turn it over to Ashley Lambert to tell you more. Thank you everyone for joining us. On behalf of Steel Hands Brewing and our team here today, we are extremely excited to be hosting our third annual Nashville Nights concert series back this summer on this stage. We can't wait to welcome these incredibly talented singer-songwriters traveling in from Nashville who are riding and touring with some of the biggest names in music right now. These shows are gonna be free to the public and they're gonna be family friendly. They're gonna launch here in Casey, uh, Fridays at 6 p.m. June 2nd through August 11th. And on their way to Casey, these artists are gonna have the opportunity to stop at our Greensboro, North Carolina location. Those shows are actually gonna kick off Thursdays, June 8th through August 10th. But honestly, Nashville Nights would not be possible without one person in particular, and that's our good friend and host of Nashville Nights, Michael Haney. He's originally from Columbia, and he currently resides in Nashville as a singer-songwriter, and he's the one that is responsible for curating these amazing artists um, that are gonna be coming through this summer. So without further ado, he is going to announce our live music lineup, so I'd like to welcome Michael Haney, our host of Nashville Nights. All right, ooh, thank you very much, Ashley. I appreciate it. It feels weird to stand up here without a guitar. It's uh, normally what, what I'm doing here, but uh, I believe it was uh, roughly around this time two years ago uh, when I got a good phone uh, I got a phone call from a good friend of mine uh, named Andy Horn, who works uh, with Steel Hands on, on bringing music here, and notified me that uh, they were looking to do some singer-songwriter uh, events. And um, here we are, two years later, and we're doing a press conference for it because things have gone so incredibly well. Um, without further ado, go ahead and uh, break down some of the names. One we've already released uh, because it's going to be a big one right off the top. Uh, only one for the first week, but Channing Wilson. Uh, while this is predominantly a singer-songwriter and storytelling event, Channing will be one of the few uh, full band performances uh, here at Steel Hands for Nashville Night. Uh, following uh, Channing will be Chuck Cannon, and Chuck is a legend in the songwriting community. Uh, he is uh, actually a South Carolina native. Uh, when we spoke a couple months ago. I didn't even know that about him. I knew so many other things about him and had no idea that he was a South Carolina native uh, and actually uh, from uh, West Columbia and from this area. Uh, following Chuck will be our good friend Paul McDonald. He is a mainstay. Uh, now, I think even if I, I wanted to try and replace him, I don't think I could. I, I, I think uh, he's, he's got to be here. Uh, I love Paul. Paul is um, a wonderful performer, wonderful person, uh, has done so many uh, great things, and, and everybody loves Paul. Uh, he's, he's got that aura. He's got that vibe, and always happy to bring Paul back. And following Paul, uh, another good friend of mine, Levi Lowry. Uh, he co-wrote a song called Colder Weather uh, by the Zac Brown Band, but Levi... Uh, is an incredible songwriter and artist in his own right and uh, again somebody else that uh, will be playing for the first time here Channing, Chuck, Levi, first timers for Nashville Nights and then uh, after that another uh, up-and-coming songwriter and somebody that's been grinding it out in Nashville for a while Ben Danaher. Uh, ben uh, has got a, a, a great collection of songs and a brand new project uh, out right now uh, kicking off uh, July will be our good buddy Chris Canterbury. He's also been a mainstay here for Nashville Nights at Steel Hands and, uh, and another person that uh, yeah, it, it's almost uh, synonymous with Nashville Nights. It's got to be Chris Canterbury. Uh, following him, uh, a great duo of Riley Bourne and Damon Atkins. Uh, they call themselves Lone Hollow. Uh, some good foot stomping guitar country rock. Um, another Nashville Nights alum following them, Ben Chapman. 
Following that, another first timer will have Zoe Cummins and Zoe, Oklahoma native. Again, great song, uh, songstress. Um, really excited to have Zoe uh, down here and, and part of this uh, part of this group. Uh, she's going to be bringing along uh, Olivia Rudine, uh, who is another uh, incredible singer songwriter, and do a little song swap uh, night for you guys here. Uh, and then we'll get into August with Hannah Dasher. And Hannah Dasher, what an amazing songwriter and personality. Uh, if you don't know about Hannah Dasher, you need to, you need to learn. And then we'll wrap things up uh, with my good friends Johnny and Heidi Bulford. Uh, Johnny, uh, multi number one uh, songs. Um, and, uh, and Heidi has also had uh, several uh, songs that have been cut and recorded. That wraps up uh, our, our lineup here for 2023 at Nashville Nights. And again... Uh, I've said it several times, but incredibly honored and excited to have these folks coming down. That's all for me right now, and I'm going to turn it over to Dana with Experience Columbia to share a few more words. Thanks. As the destination marketing organization for the greater Columbia region, we can attest that our area's craft breweries are a major draw for visiting business and leisure travelers, not to mention a huge asset to our locals as well. There are many people who are under the impression that Columbia shuts down each year when college students return home for the summer. However, there are still plenty of people and things to do throughout the summer months that keep the energy here alive. And quality programming like the Nashville Nights Concert Series is a testament to that. We look forward to welcoming all these Nashville-based artists here this summer and are so impressed by the reputation this program is earning among that group of top-tier talent. 